Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today I want to share with you guys some of the best wallpaper apps that you could go and download in the app store for your iPhone. So let's begin. So the first one is called Alive. So Alive is a cool wallpaper app that is mostly only has live wallpapers. And the app is free to download, but there is of course some uh, in-app purchases that you could do for some premium wallpapers. So, uh, when you open up the app, of course, this is how it looks. It looks really cool. It looks really neat. And like I said, these are live wallpapers by the name Alive. Um, so how it works, pretty simple. So you tap on a wallpaper that you like, of course, and then of course it loads up because these are live wallpapers. And then when you tap and press, you get to see some cool animations. Now, of course, this uh, app, uh, I mean, these wallpapers, uh, the animation only works in the clock screen. Uh, so you can only use those uh, effects in the lock screen, which of course it sucks that you can't use them in the home screen, those animations, but it's it's better than nothing. And what I like about this app is that you get to see how it will look in the lock screen. So by tapping this little eye kind of thing, you get to see how it looks in the lock screen. And then of course, if you tap it again, you get to see how it looks uh, with some apps, of course, as well. And because it only works in the lock screen, so you can play around with it right there. And of course, if you try to do it in the home screen, it won't work because it doesn't work when you do it in, a, in the main home screen of your iPhone. So yeah, it has a ton of cool, interesting wallpapers, this app. Um, I've been playing around with it for a few days now. Uh, I first got introduced by this app from a TikTok ad that uh, when I was on the app. And so yeah, I decided to go and check it out. And of course, this was like the one that they were showing off, uh, this premium one. Uh, that you can only download and have if you pay the in-app subscription or whatever. So yeah, it's very cool. It's an interesting app uh, that looks really, really nice. And yeah, it's just a really cool uh, way to have fun and customize your lock screen and your home screen, of course, depending if you want to add a live wallpaper in your home screen. So yeah, there's a ton to choose from here. There's a ton of category categories that you can choose from as well here. Um, and yeah, there's just, it's really, really neat and cool that you get to have some cool live wallpapers um, here uh, on your iPhone setup here. This one's my favorite one right here, the Rocket one. It's just really, really cool uh, to see. And yeah, it's just really, really fun to have. Next, we have Vivillium. So you've already heard this. Uh, whenever I use this app, it's just really, really awesome. Um, and so there we go. So this app is free to download and there is an in-app purchase, of course, to unlock much more wallpapers as well. Um, it's been one of my go-to apps for a while now. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but oops, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't want to stop the, uh, there we go. So that's weird. So there we go. And then, uh, so I just got distracted now. So. Yeah, these are the wallpapers categories that you can choose from here. Uh, there's a ton to choose from as well. And yeah, it's just really, really awesome to have and use. But yeah, there's a ton here and that you'll like. Like you'll have some OLED ones here, of course, uh, that look really nice. Of course, if you have some, uh, you have the iPhone uh, 10, 10s or iPhone 11 Pro that have the OLED screens, then these wallpapers here, of course, will look really nice. And of course, they do look really nice on the iPhone 11 as well, uh, but they doesn't have that dark, dark color on the screen. Uh, but yeah, Vilium is a must have app if you want to have some cool uh, wallpapers and a cool setup on your iPhone. Next, we have Unsplash. So you probably heard about this uh, uh, service, Unsplash, of course. Uh, they have some cool wallpapers. They, they have the iPhone app, of course, that was just released, uh, like, I think last year for the first time. And yeah, there's a ton to choose from. What I like about this one, of course, is that they actually have a category just for wallpapers. And of course, they have a category just for iPhone wallpapers as well. So when you tap on it, of course, you get to see uh, some cool wallpapers and this is where I usually get most of my wallpapers uh, from you've probably seen them in a couple of videos uh, my older videos uh, all, all those pretty much come from Unsplash even my wallpaper on the iMac here I use the Unsplash application and where it just rotates to different cool interesting wallpapers that I have there so yeah 
it's my go-to usually this one's my main go-to uh app for cool interesting wallpapers um there's a ton to choose from of course um that you'll probably find and like as well so yeah you'll probably find one that you like here for your setup as well next we have apollo so apollo is not a wallpaper app it's a reddit client a third party one but there is a cool subreddit wallpaper uh, just for iPhones. So I actually have it saved right there. And this is where I actually go sometimes to find some cool, interesting wallpapers that I might find interesting, of course, um, uh, to have something different and something unique and see what other people uh, are making, of course, and what other people are using as wallpapers for their customization as well. So yeah, it's just a really fun way to just look at the iPhone community and see what cool interesting wallpapers they are using as well so like this batman one is really really cool and sick uh, i really like it so i might have to save that later um but yeah one of my this like i like just going here scrolling in wallpapers because people do upload some cool wallpapers uh that you might like and then you could just have them on your iphone since they are there to share them of course so yeah it's one of my go to a wallpaper areas to go just find some cool, interesting wallpapers as well. And next and not least, we have this new app that I just found out about like a day ago uh, called Pix. So Pix is a cool uh, app that is free to download as well. And there is an in-app subscription, but they do offer you a seven day trial. Uh, this is not a promo. They're not paying me or anything like this. I'm just giving you guys the information. Uh, but yeah, the app is free to download and there's some cool apps that I really like about this uh, application. I think this my main wallpaper that I have running right now on uh, my iPhone setup is from Pix as well. And yeah, it's just a really cool app that I really like and I've been using it, like I said, for the past day, I've just been addicted to this app. Uh, so yeah, there's some cool ones that you can find, of course. And then of course, what I like about this, of course, just like uh, the uh, first app alive where you get to see how your, your the wallpaper is going to look in the lock screen it has the option right here and it also has the option for the home screen as well so yeah it's just really cool but what it makes this app really interesting and really cool it has some cool uh, customization effects that you can add to it so this is the normal one and then of course you can add vibrant you could have a uh, vignette uh, you could blur it out if you want um, or you can have retro mode chrome or black and white as well. So yeah, there's some cool ways that you could just have fun and then when you like something, you just click the save button. So yeah, there's a ton of categories that you could choose from this app as well. Uh, there's there's like a section just from Apple logos right here, which is really neat as well. So you'll probably find one that you like there. Uh, but yeah, this is where I go come sometimes and just have some cool, interesting wallpapers uh, that I want to see and find then I just come here like this one from Yosemite. It's really really cool And so yeah, just add some cool effects to it and you'll have something like Lord of Rings right here pretty much So yeah, these are pretty much the top iPhone apps that I currently use to get my different types of wallpaper setups uh, for the iPhone um, and yeah That's pretty much it for the top wallpaper apps on the iPhone. I hope you guys enjoy this video and as always, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.